This is Ash from Ash Hill My PC 99 bringing you another repair tip. Warning, this is mainly a diagnosis video and temporary quick fix tip only. Apologies for not including the actual repair video as I wasn't planning to upload this to YouTube when I filmed this. Hopefully someone may still find this useful as I give some tips at the end of the video. If you want to see how I managed to temporarily fix the half black screen problem from this to this then stay tuned. This is how I fixed it. I used a few of the same foot stick that you saw in the video, cut them into a few pieces to fit under the ribbon cable which was causing the contact image. I also secured them in place with some blue tack so that if there was any pressure applied onto the ribbon cable it would no longer distort the image. Immediately I did not replace the frame nor bezels as I wanted to see how much of a fix it was. After around a week or so it did not show any sign of half black screen. So I put everything back together, frames, bezels, however, after that it occasionally caused some half black screen. When that happened, I just pressed around the frame where I knew the problem was. It would haphazardly return to a clear full picture. However, over the next three weeks, the problem would come back more frequently and each time it would require more pressure applied. This became very annoying. Finally, I gave up and bought a new TV. I did some research and found out that this problem is very common indeed and many others have ended up replacing their TV. A long term repair is not advisable in most cases due to the high cost of replacing any of the troublesome parts. In conclusion, is a rant coming up. Manufacturers of electrical components, especially at the budget end, are using more and more cheap components including in their build. Some say they are deliberately including a fixed term component which will die within a specific time frame, usually within the warranty period. Since I've been repairing a few electronics, this has become quite clear over the years. I've seen many products fail the day after the warranty was over. While I'm not directly accusing LG or any other company for that matter, I am advising each and every one of you to expect cheap end products to fail within a short lifetime depending on your luck. For some electronics, it might be worth considering getting extended warranty. You need to weigh the cost of repairing versus the cost of buying a new one. So, hope I was able to help you at least diagnose your problem and also offer some helpful future buying tips. Thank you for watching. Leave me a like, dislike, comment and share this vid. Remember to subscribe for more repair tips. Peace out.